Hello, this video is an introduction or a blueprint to what you expect to see or to find inside of the complete Frappe framework and ERP Next developer course. This course is designed or built to help teams uh, achieve their objectives uh, when using ERP Next to, custom, uh, to build their applications or when they're using Frappe as well. So this course will be exploring the Frappe framework in depth and it will also be exploring ERP Next at depth. So here we are going to be doing customizations to ERP Next. We are going to be building applications in the Frappe framework. And by the end of this course, you should be uh, able to customize ERP Next to suit your organization needs, or you should be able to build your new applications using the Frappe framework. So let me jump into the course very quickly. So I'll just scroll down and show you uh, the, what you what you expect to see in the course. And the first course, the first uh, introductory video here is uh, the video you are watching right now. So from here we're going to go into beginner topics. So this course is broken into two pieces or two uh, series. The first one is the beginner topics, and then we will have the advanced topics. And then we're also going to have even additional topics at the end of the course. So, in the beginner topics, we have uh, topics like introduction to the Frappe framework and the ERP Next application. So, we are going to be seeing what is Frappe and what is ERP Next and how they are related. Then we are going to go ahead and set up the environment so that we can be able to uh, go ahead and customize our application. So, this is a video I have provided for free because the community needs it uh, big time. So you can find a blog post on my on my uh, uh, on, on, on my blog. This is uh, code with Karani .com. You can find the blog post there, or you can go to YouTube and you are going to see a free video there on how to how to customize or how to install. Sorry, not to customize, but how to install. Uh, or to set up the environment for the purpose of this development. Then we are going to go ahead and start installations of Frappe. Of course, here we are going to do so many, so many installations that are environment dependent. Then we are going to go ahead and install Frappe itself. Um, and we are going to be using Ubuntu 20 in this one. This is 20.04. Then we are going to create a site. As you know, ERP Next is made of sites. Um, and then uh, we are going to go ahead and install ERP Next on top of the site that we we'll have created here. So uh, the way uh, Frappe does its thing, it, it builds applications that then you can install on sites. And then the applications can also be modularized. So ERP Next is an example of an application in Frappe that is built uh, on Frappe. So we are going to take this and we are going to install it on our site. And by doing this, we are going to have a complete working uh, ERP Next instance on our environment or on our computers. Then after that, we are going to look at um, field types. These are the field types that we have in Frappe framework so that we can be able to understand what type of field that we need to use to achieve some specific requirement. Then we are going to look at the desk or the work, uh, workspace. This ideally is uh, what you see in the back end when you log in. We are going to be exploring that. Then we are going to go ahead and create a custom app. Uh, I mean, uh, you remember when we were talking about ERP Next, I just mentioned that Frappe is created using apps. So we are going to do, go ahead and see how we can create our own custom app. Okay. And we are going to be using best, sta best standards here because we are not supposed to be writing our custom code on the files that ERP Next has uh, created. And that is why we will definitely be needing our own application so that we can be able to customize this application. Then after that, we are going to go ahead and install our app on the site. Remember when we, are, we, we downloaded ERP Next and installed it? On this site that we created here so we have one site we install the app next on that site and then the, in this topic we are going to install the app that we have created ourselves so the app that we have created up here we are going to install it on the same site so our site now is going to have this site in, uh, this app installed and also the app next installed and also uh, frappe treats even frappe itself as a as a as an, as an app so 
at this point you are going to have at least three applications installed then you are going to look at doc types doc types are basically the building blocks in uh, frappe so we are going to explore them and see what they are and how they work then we are going to look at field dependencies this is where you may need uh, maybe to select one field so as to populate another field we are going to see how that also works inside of frappe then the next thing are custom scripts uh these are these are very important topic that uh, we are going to be exploring so we are going to see how we can write a custom script that can do something that we have customized for our application then we're going to go ahead remember we are still in the beginner topics and look at uh using the custom script now to make api calls so we are going to be writing an api to a python file at the back and then we are going to tell that file to do something or our API to do something. And then we are going to use a custom script to call that API. And then uh, this API is going to return something to our custom script and we can uh, see it on the front end. Great. Then you are going to go ahead and also do arithmetic. Yeah, you may be needing to do some uh, calculations here and there in your application. We can also use custom scripts to do this and we are going to be seeing that also in the course. Now, all this point time we have been talking about custom scripts, we have not talked about server scripts. So we are also going to be looking at server scripts in this course. This is not a topic also that we are going to explore in depth. Then customizing uh, navigation menus, you see the uh, European Next comes with a menu that is predefined on the side. We are going to see how we can customize that. Then we are also going to see how to send emails. Of course, emails is one of the uh, most important uh, mod, uh, modes of communication today. So we are going to see how we can uh, do our sending of emails from our ERP Next instance. Then the next thing is uh, customizing the print format. Of course, you know when you have an application, uh, what comes out of it is very critical. So we are going to be looking at how to customize the reports that we get so that uh, they are uh, they look uh, like the reports that we have been using in our organization then we have schedulers you may need to automate some tasks uh, in your application so what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, uh, automate this uh, process uh, pro uh, processes we will write a script that is going to be called with uh, within our application and is going to do some things of course they are uh, things that we have specified then from there we're going to look at the frappe dialog api i'm going to be telling you more about this when we get there that is where we are going to end our, our beginner topics then we are going to jump and dive into the advanced topics and here we are going to do a lot of coding most of this thing is about writing code so we are going to look at controllers orm sql in frappe uh, we are going to look at topics like um, how to manage your ERP next instance on github and then also here we are going to be pushing our code to github and managing it and see we are also going to see how to work as a team so if you have a team of maybe around 10 20 developers or even two developers that are working on an application they can have a github repository and then they are going to they can work on a project together then you may need to build a custom page within your frappe application or erp next we are going to see how to do that also and then we are going to use events to manipulate doc types uh, then we are going to explore more about apis because apis are very important i have actually done a complete course on apis that is about one and a half hours so you can also check that out uh, on my blog post so we are going to dive more deeper into this uh, api section and then the next thing is also uh, how to you call apis from other applications so if you have another application outside and you like to write an api within your erp next of wrapper application and then you want to consume the apis on with other softwares we, we are going to explore how to do that then we are also going to see at how to use webhooks you know there's a big difference between apis and webhooks and to tell you the in the easiest ways that i think i can apis you consume the data that is sitting down where it is for instance if i write an api and you want to consume my api or let me say that you have an api and i want to write some code that is going to consume that api that you have 
maybe I want you to give me the data of all the employees that you have, my code will only be consuming your data that is sitting on your database. That is an API. If I use a webhook, a webhook is going to require that you send me that data. So if I want to use your data, I am going to write some code that is going to talk to your application and then your application is going to send some data back to me. So this data, a webhook does not consume data that is sitting on another application's database, but instead it is sends that data to another application. So how do we send, uh, how do we send webhooks from our application to other applications? How do we send that data out? And also I wrote another uh, video that is a free video on YouTube. And I told you also how to get uh, those webhooks. That is uh, uh, another application uh, sending data to your application. So you can check that out as well. Then we are also going to use uh, uh, events to manipulate doc types. Here we are going to explore that further. And then this is where we are going to have to have uh, fun. We are now going to start uh, changing the looks of ERP Next frontend. So we are going to change the complete look. We are going to install a bootstrap theme. We are going to select one bootstrap theme and then we are going to install it and change uh, everything uh, within ERP Next. So we are like uh, we will be like building a website on top of a bootstrap. Then of course when you do that we need to do some URL routing. So we are going to look into URL routing in the Frappe framework. We are going to show you how to go into the details page from maybe the front page and all that kind of stuff. Then of course after that we may need to pass some data. You do not want to work with the static data that is on uh, the bootstrap theme. So we may need to pass some data from the backend or your database to our theme that we had just installed. We are going to be exploring that in depth. Then, um, well, that, uh, that is the same topic, of course. We are going to do that. Then we, are, we may need to do content pagination. If maybe you have a hundred articles that you want to display on your front page, you do not want to show all the hundred articles. Of course, your clients are going to scroll a lot and your website or your application is going to be boring. What you need to do is to paginate the content or maybe you can use lazy loading. In this one, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to paginate uh, content because this is the most uh, common way of doing it. Then uh, we're also going to do to explore more about how to build uh, our web applications with uh, Frappe framework. Then these are ad uh, added topics that we are also going to explore. Topics like creating custom reports. So we are going to be customizing the reports that we get from our application. Then we are going to see how to work with the currencies. We are also going to see how to handle, handle errors in Frappe framework. So if you have an error, how do you handle that? Then we are also going to use uh, to set a multi-tenancy instance for our application. Sometimes you may find yourself in a situation where you want to install ERP Next or you want to build an application with Frappe and then you need that application to be used in multiple locations. How do you do that? You use multi-tenancy. So uh, we are going to be exploring more. I'm going to be teaching you what multi-tenancy does, how it works uh, in ERP Next or Frappe framework and we are actually going to set up that kind of thing. Then we are also going to explore more about using ERP Next for e-commerce. Um, then the next thing we are going to do is integrate something, some, some gadget. And in this one, we are going to do a biometric integration inside of ERP Next. We are going to be doing that from ground up. Then the next thing that we are going to be doing is fixtures. Fixtures are very important in Frappe and ERP Next. So we are going to see how to use fixtures, how to set them, how to set them up and how to use them to make our work easier. So this course is set, is made to uh, get uh, you from a beginner to an advanced ERP Next or and Frappe developer. Or maybe you are a developer or you are already doing ERP Next development, but you, you are stuck with some things like APIs, like webhooks. This course is also made for you. And then after you have joined this course, the next thing that uh, you, is going to happen is that you are going to be added to my personal Telegram group. And therefore, in case you have personal questions that you may need to ask me, you can shoot them there and I will surely respond to them. So that's it. I am hoping to see you in the course. 
So thank you so much and see you inside.